हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मैजिक ऑफ मेडिसिन टुडेज टॉपिक इज चिलेडिटी सिंड्रोम इट इज़ नेम्ड आफ्टर डेमेट्रियस चिलेडिटी हु वाज अ ग्रीक रेडियोलॉजिस्ट हु डिस्क्राइब द रेडियोग्राफिक फाइंडिंग्स इन 1910 ऑल दो द फर्स्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द इंटरपोजिशन ऑफ कॉलोन बिटवीन द लीवर एंड द राइट हेमी डाइफ्रेम वॉज पब्लिश बाई कैंटिनी इन एटीन Now, Chilaidity syndrome is a very rare but important condition, often misdiagnosed as pneumoperitoneum. Hence, it is also named as pseudo pneumoperitoneum. The proper diagnosis prevents unnecessary surgery because if we report Chilaidity as pneumoperitoneum, the patient will have to undergo an unnecessary surgery. and inconvenience which can be prevented if we are able to diagnose it properly so coming to the definition chilaidity is anterior interposition of colon between liver and under surface of right hemi diaphragm which is associated with upper abdominal pain so note we are calling it syndrome only if it is associated with pain if this condition is painless then it is called chilaidity sign that is if the colon is present between liver and diaphragm but it is not causing any pain or any symptom then it is called chilaidity sign now coming to the epidemiology it is more common in male approx four times more than the females and it occurs in elderly population because most of the times the core reason of this is laxity of ligaments which are happening more likely in elderly population ligaments become more and more lax with age now coming to the risk factors risk factors can be divided into two anatomical factors and functional factors anatomical factors constitute ligament laxity multiparous women obviously will have ligament laxity then congenital malposition the colon is congenitally malpositioned between liver and right hemi diaphragm then is chronic lung disease cirrhosis hepatic surgery in cirrhosis and hepatic surgery the size of liver reduces and hence there is undue space created between liver and diaphragm which is occupied by colon later on which is seen then as chilaidity sign next is increased intraabdominal pressure then coming to functional factors these include chronic constipation and neuromuscular disorders these factors also lead to malposition of colon between liver and diaphragm so risk factors are all very obvious and we no, do not need to mug up these all all of these are logical risk factors now coming to clinical presentation so clinically the patients present with abdominal pain nausea vomiting altered bowel habits respiratory distress anorexia the patient can have one all or none of these features as we know most of the chilaidity cases are asymptomatic however whenever present these symptoms aggravate in supine position and get relieved when patient gets up and stands up obviously in supine position the colon will be more interposed and will lead to more obstruction and pain and in standing it will be relieved so classic the patients will have complaints during night time when they are sleeping supine and uh, in day time they will have reduced symptoms now coming to the x ray most of the times chilaidity is an incidental finding noted on routine x ray examinations so how will it appear it will be seen as gas with hot ray between liver and diaphragm see this is liver this is diaphragm and here is the gas with hostations so it is chilaidity do not confuse it with pneumoperitoneum as in case of chilaidity the gas will show hostray 
सजेस्टिव ऑफ बावल गैस एंड नॉट द फ्री एयर वाइल इन केसेज ऑफ न्यूमो पेरिटोनियम देर विल बी नो हॉस्टेशन एंड इट विल बी अ क्लियर गैस अंडर द डेफ्रेम नाउ आई हैव लेबल्ड एंड मार्क डेट सो दीज वर द हॉस्टेश ऑफ द कॉलोन सजेस्टिव ऑफ कॉलोनिक गैस एंड हैंस चिलेडिटी एंड दीज हॉस्टे ऑल्सो रूल आउट द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ न्यूमो पेरिटोनियम नाउ यू नो यू कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली डायग्नोज चिलेडिटी फ्रॉम दिस नाउ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू स्पॉट द डायग्नोसिस options are is this a normal x-ray is it a pneumothorax is this gas under diaphragm or is it a chilidity sign so obviously we again see here that there is air seen under the diaphragm but there is a catch here there are hostations within this air which is suggestive of colonic air so this hostation here is suggestive that this is colon interposed between liver and diaphragm so it is chilidity sign answer is chilidity sign now difference between pneumoperitoneum and pseudopneumoperitoneum pneumoperitoneum you can see free gas under diaphragm and the gas is clear there are no hostation seen within this gas so diagnose it as pneumoperitoneum while in second case you can see these tiny hostations within the gas suggestive of bowel or colonic gas hence this is chilidity or pseudopneumoperitoneum now coming to the ct ct is the gold standard in some cases where there is still a confusion and hostations are not seen properly we can we can advise ct to the patient which will clearly show the interposed colon between liver and right hemidiaphragm see here you can see the interposed colon between liver and right hemidiaphragm now coming to the complications uh, rarely very very rarely in fact uh, this chilidity sign or syndrome can lead to bowel ischemia and colonic valvulus now coming to the treatment options asymptomatic patients with chilidity sign there is no treatment needed only the symptomatic patients need the treatment that is chilidity syndrome needs the treatment not chilidity sign and the treatment include analgesics aspirins and colopexy the colon can be properly adhered and fixed preventing its interposition between liver and right hemidiaphragm so this was all about chilidity syndrome thank you for watching the video if you like the video and found it helpful please like share and subscribe